The role of Belarus in the war in Ukraine is still not clear, writes Frankfurter Rundschau. The country, which is ruled by a dictator, has conducted joint nuclear exercises with Russia, as well as provided shelter to the mercenaries of Wagner Group. The publication reminds, fears that Minsk will actively interfere in the fighting in Ukraine has not yet been confirmed, but the situation could change. Deutsche Well reported. The newspaper Berliner Morgenpost quotes in its article the words of Polish analyst Konrad Muzajka, director of the political consulting firm of Russian Consulting. Muzajka reminds that Minsk held similar exercises in September 2023, but this time the change of territory is alarming. The troops were redeployed to Hommel region, which served as a springboard for the Russian Federation during the attack in 2022. The analyst believes that a direct attack of Belarus on Ukraine is unlikely at the moment. It would require forces, which Belarus does not have, to seize the border areas, some of which are heavily mined by Ukraine. A real attack by Belarus is not to be feared, Mozaika believes, but he voices an option which is feared in Ukraine. Belarusian troops could make small strikes and possibly occupy a small part of the Ukrainian territory. This would mean that Kyiv would have to redeploy troops from other fronts, which would weaken the AFU. The probability of such a scenario is low, but it cannot be completely ruled out, the Berliner Morgen Post quoted the analyst as saying. Belarus has deployed aircraft and air defense troops to its border with Ukraine after President Alexander Lukashenko announced he would station almost a third of the country's military along the frontier. The Belarusian military also deployed anti-aircraft missiles and soldiers from the country's Radio Technical Corps. Major General Andriy Lukyanovich, commander of the Belarusian Air Defense Forces, said on national television describing the move as a significant increase. Belarus's authoritarian leader Lukashenko on Sunday announced that he'd ordered almost a third of the army to the border with Ukraine. Although he did not specify troop numbers, Belarus's army numbers about 60,000. Lukashenko said the decision was in response to additional Ukrainian troops being deployed along the border, but that could not be independently verified. Ukraine has not confirmed the Belarusian deployment to the 1,084-kilometer common border. Russia has used Belarus, which depends on Russian loans and cheap energy, as a staging ground for its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, moving its troops through Belarusian territory to attack Ukraine from the north. Russia also moved some of its tactical nuclear weapons to Belarus in 2023. Another footage of the explosion that took place at the oil base in Kamensk Shakhtinsk city in Russia's Rostov region overnight has been released. Images taken and shared by local residents show the moment of an explosion in one of the oil tanks. Firefighters who were at the site of the incident had to flee from the area. It should be noted that the explosion was caused by fire that occurred after the Ukrainian kamikaze drone strike on the night of August 28. The fire that lasted throughout the day caused an explosion in the fuel reservoirs at the oil base in the area. There were no reports about casualties. Thank you.